So, you're in the market for a Ruger PC carbine. Or you can't afford an AR-15, so you're in the market for an AR-9. Guys, girls, they them. Stick around and we're gonna break this rifle down tip to butt and hopefully at the end of the video it helps you make your decision on whether or not if you should get a Ruger PC carbine. By the way, gun is empty, clear. So why did I choose a PC carbine or AR-9 over an AR-15? Reason number one though is that because um, it was just ease of use. I can run any magazine through this rifle that I have just lying around in my Glocks. Also, no, I'm just a bitch, you know? I just can't handle owning an AR-15. Number two, I live in a pretty small neighborhood and the rooms in my house are very close. Um, and also, once again, I'm a bitch. I don't want to shoot this gun and blow my ears out shooting a 14.5 or a 16 inch AR-15. Um, personally, this, this just works for me. Third reason is my first reason, uh, nine millimeter. Um, it's just, it's everywhere, it's cheap. I have it in my Glock. I have it just lying around. I don't really like carrying around so much ammunition whenever I'm going around. I know, stop! I already know that you guys, you AR-15 owners are already going around. <laughs> you guys are already typing away and roasting me in the comment section, all right? Just chill out, this is my preference, all right? This is why you're here. You, you wanna know if you wanna get this? I'm justifying it for other Ruger PC future owners. So starting with the tip of the gun is I have a comp on it, which is the Tandem Cross uh, Pro Compensator on it. It really helps keeping the recoil down low because when I brought it out to the range and I shot it, it was recoiling um, to the left a little bit. So adding this compensator on it just helped me push it down a little bit more. And I already know it's a nine millimeter. It doesn't have much recoil, but either muscle the recoil or I chose to eliminate recoil completely. So basically this thing has zero recoil and it's just, it runs phenomenal. Coming down to the frame of the gun, I have um, the 30 round Glock mag. I got two mags of this. This is actually coming pretty difficult to find. So now I'm collecting uh, 33 round Glock factory Glock mags. I think they work the best. It comes with the regular Ruger Security 9 mags, but <sighs> Glocks, it's better. Uh, I put on the Tandem Cross um, charging handle. The charging handle is reversible. It comes factory from the ejection port side and I instantly swapped it out over to this side. Feels better this way. I don't wanna rack it like a freaking animal, like AK users. Moving on, I got um, the two-point sling from T-Rex Arms. This is my favorite, favorite attachment. It's just, I'm just, it's just so quick. I uh, love it. It feels good, I've had it for two days now. <laughs> and it feels great, so um, I have got no problems with it. It uh, comes quick detached with this, um, the QD, so you can just pop that in. So if you need more stability, you can just pull it and it's locked up. And then if you need to loosen it up, now you're free to go. And you can swim under. It's just, it's quick, it's easy, and it uh, gives you also an option. They give you these uh, nylon cords right here. So you can uh, easily tie it up when you are storing the gun. And I think that is super convenient and I love that. Also on the frame is a pig tanny rail that comes straight out and uh, attached. I have the Sig Sauer Romeo 5 with the high rise mount. I do recommend the Sig Romeo 5 if you're on a budget, like how I was. I've shot out to 50 yards to 100 yards with this, no problem. And I'm able to make constant hits. Lastly, on the frame, there is the trigger, of course. And I'm very easy to place when it comes to triggers. So to me, it's like butter. It has tactile reset and a crisp break. I actually find that I personally am able to outrun the gun a little bit more. So there is an upgraded trigger on the market. I don't think I'm gonna get it. I run this gun just fine. For you fast shooters out there, you may be able to catch yourself kind of outrunning the gun a little bit more. 
Also, there is no uh, no gas system. This is a straight blowback gun. So there is going to be a little bit more felt recoil, but that is something that I want to get into in a little bit here after I finish up with the buttstock. Going down to the buttstock is a, um, it's from Magpul. It's super interchangeable. You can uh, mix and match with any AR-15 buttstock as you please and with a grip. Going back to the straight blowback system, it makes a little bit of an increased recoil, but with a nine millimeter carbine like this, you're not even gonna feel the recoil, especially with a compensator up here. You're not gonna feel the recoil at all. This gun shoots super flat, also because it's heavy as fuck. This thing weighs more than my shotgun. With all these attachments on, red dot, sling, um, 30 round uh, mag, completely full, with the flashlight comp, this thing is super top heavy, and it weighs like eight pounds. Also keep in mind that when you're actively shooting, you're not gonna feel this weight at all. It's actually such a fast gun. Smooth shooting, flat shooting, it's, it's butter. This is also a takedown carbine, so you can just easily toss this in your backpack, in your duffel bag. If you need more mobility of bringing the gun anywhere, it's super simple. You just lock the gun back, drop the mag, and the gun comes apart. Putting it back together, super simple. Just make sure that's locked. It's got a little locking pin down here. Line it up, and you're ready to go. I don't really know what I need this takedown feature for. I don't really take this gun anywhere besides going to the range. But it is a pretty sweet feature to be able to take your gun apart and just bring it anywhere you need to go. You can find the gun on the market right now roughly around $800 to $900. I got this off Gun Broker for about $801. And with all the attachments all together, another $200. So right around the $1,000 to $1,200 mark. I think this is a perfect go-to rifle. And with the takedown feature, it's just highly mobile and low recoiling, fast shooting, flat shooting. It's just an all around good gun. And a bang for your buck for times like this where guns aren't really accessible. They come in different configurations and for $900, $800, this is a steal. Final thoughts on the Ruger PC Carbine. I think personally for me, it fits my kind of style of shooting and my kind of environment where I'm in, and that makes it a perfect gun for me. For you, maybe you need an AR-15 because you're covering more, more distance, and maybe you need more firepower. But for me, this 9mm here is doing the job for me. With the kind of ballistics coming out from a 16-inch barrel like this, your and this nine millimeter is hitting like a 357 magnum so that is way more than enough power for me to do home defense with so it really comes down to personal preference maybe you do need an ak maybe you do need an ar-15 that is completely up to you guys i hope that answers your question on whether or not you should get a ruger pc carbine uh what to expect from it i hope you guys enjoyed the video once again i want to thank you guys so much on um, your support for the previous video. Just want to say thanks. Uh, lastly, spread love and support experience. Once again, thank you so much for your support. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this answered some of your questions and have a good day.